Uh, this is the fifth time I've done this. I'm going to just tell what happened today. What happened today was I went to uh, for dinner with my wife, got talking about the salad. I said, wow, the salad is great. It's so neat because the uh, chicken is sliced like prosciutto. Isn't that neat? I've never seen that before. And she said, what? And I said, the smoked, the smoked chicken. We have difficulty communicating. So I say that, I talked to her like, I said, the smoked chicken. And she said, hang, hang on, what? And I go, the smoked chicken. And I made a gesture with my lips and my hands like I was smoking. I literally said this, uh, this chicken, some people smoked this chicken. And that is why it is now smoked chicken. And she said, don't you see anything wrong? And I go, no, there's nothing wrong. And she says, uh, it's not chicken, it's salmon. So I said, well, okay then, it's uh, smoked salmon. It's quite good. Have you tasted it? No, I haven't tasted it. And okay, so I leave the re we leave the restaurant. Uh, you can imagine maybe now how she reacted and actually that was one time like I lost it as well so we're sitting there and it's uh, a little weird and it's the restaurant is like about a third underground so the window is beside the grass so your face is like sort of grass level I don't know why more people don't do that the interior of it was fantastic I think it's subsidized by the government or something so things are cheap and food isn't really that great Anyway, so I leave there, and uh, I've got the battery in my cell phone. It's working. So I look it up, and the first thing I find, I'm pretty sure I got this right. The first thing is a Guardian article saying that, oh, those Republicans are at it again. They're going to uh, corrupt another election. This is democracy at state. We've got to you know, get out there and prevent the Republicans from stealing another election. Good enough. Uh, the next one that comes up, and this is the one that really set me off, uh, the the museum in Florence has decided that it shouldn't be just considering what are the most beautiful things when they decide what to put in the main museum in Florence. Uh, okay, good enough. They should be thinking about the impact that they're having on social life and all that. So what they decide to do is they want to put uh, statues of women in there. Whether well, they might not be that great, but they should go in there. We're gonna, you're going to go into the museum in uh, Florence and they're going to teach you about feminist sister. Can you imagine uh, the convulsions ripping through my psyche and body and, you know, just picture it. Uh, I'm kidding, of course, but uh, I'm getting used to the torture. Let's, let's put it that way. Okay, so uh, that's the deal there. And the next one that comes up is Gad Sad, and Gad Sad is reporting on Justin. And what Justin has just done in an interview in a French language show is say that uh, anti-vaxxers are sexist and misogynistic, and kind of imply, as a Nazi would to the Jews, that uh, you know they're a little diseased. You want to stay away from them. They're misogynistic. They're sexist, and. Uh, Justin Trudeau once said that uh, Canada need to find the, the the people. I don't even think he said men who refuse to identify as feminists and deal with them. Uh, okay, so you can imagine Gadsad and I don't have a terribly high opinion of Justin Trudeau, and so what Gadsad did in his brilliance was he looked it up, and as it turns out, the most common uh, sex and race, I guess uh, they predict this, is like. Uh, 40-ish 40, uh, 40 uh, white females. I seriously doubt that they're totally against vaccines. I seriously doubt they're totally against the COVID vaccine, but they're probably a little worried about giving it to their teenagers. Okay, so that's interesting enough, but here's the kicker, and this really is a kicker. You ready? You're going to get kicked. I got kicked. Everybody's going to get kicked on this one, if anybody reports it. Okay, here it is. The edu The people... The educational attainment average level of your average uh, vaccine hesitant person is has a PhD.